Hi everyone, welcome back to another basic Photoshop tutorial for digital artists. In this one we're going to take a look at filling your line art. So there are a few methods to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And for the sake of this tutorial, to show an example, I'm just going to put a circle there. A polydrawn circle. So the first method a lot of you probably use already is pressing G on your keyboard or selecting the paint bucket tool which is found over here. If you don't have the paint bucket tool there, right click on that icon and change it to paint bucket tool. It might be on gradient for example. And once you've selected that, select the colour you want to fill and you would normally just tap where you want to fill. Now that's okay, but as you can probably see if you zoom in, there is a white line there that does not quite go up to the black line. This can be a pain and it's sometimes a bit more extreme than this as well. That's actually not as bad as I have had it go before. So I'm going to get rid of that. So a much better way of doing this and to make sure you don't get those problems as well is I'm going to select the magic wand tool which you can see over here. Again if you don't have that make sure you right click and select magic wand tool. Now what we're going to do this time on that same layer is I'm going to click within the circle. So if I was to fill this in now regardless of what method I use, for example even if I fill that with a paint bucket tool again, I'm going to press Control and D to deselect my line art, you can see we have exactly the same problem. So what we do is we're going to select our magic wand tool, click within that space and this time I'm going to use this top panel up here and I'm going to click select and from the drop down I'm going to click modify and within modify I'm going to expand that selection. Now the amount you need to expand it by is going to vary depending on how large the image is that you're making and the thicker your line are the more you can get away with on this. So for this one I'm going to try, let's try five for now and you can see how that has moved and it now goes onto our line art so I know there's going to be no white spaces this time. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to edit along the top of the toolbar and I'm going to select fill. Now, I don't actually do this normally, but you can click foreground colour and hit OK, and it will fill the area. Again, it's gone over into our line art. The way I do this much quicker is I press Alt on my keyboard and then backspace, and that selects your foreground colour. So you can see here you've got two colours, the red and the black. The red in this case is our foreground colour. What I'm going to do is change my background colour to show you another shortcut. So before with our selection we pressed alt and backspace that works fine alternatively you can press control and backspace on your keyboard and it uses your background color instead so that's good but it does go into our line art so another benefit of using this method is you can create a new layer I've still got my magic wand tool selection on there and it's been expanded still you have to do that on your line art layer but once you've got that selected you can create a new layer and use the same method, so I'm going to press Control and Backspace again, or even Alt and Backspace, depending which colour you want. I'm going to deselect that with Control and D. We've got the same result, but we're on different layers this time. So here on the right hand side, I can now drag my colour layer below the line art layer. And if you look carefully, you'll see the difference that makes. Okay, I'm going to show the difference when I'm zoomed in. It just means that we're not cutting into our line art. Now, I'll be completely honest, a lot of the time I actually do just select my brush tool and I just go in and I paint up to the edges, but I know some people prefer to use, you know, fill tools and shortcuts like that, and once you get good at them, it does speed up your workflow a lot. But I want to take a quick look at one more thing. So we know how to fill that quickly if it's quite basic, but if there's a few things within our line art, such as a man that looks like a tomato or a strawberry, if we were to use this method now, you'd find when I click, it's going to leave certain bits out, for example the cheeks. That's fine if that's what you want, but the reason I'm pointing this out is because instead of selecting within your image, you can actually magic wand the outside of your image. So now instead of selecting everything within the image, we've got the inverse of that. So again, I'm going to go select, modify, expand, let's expand by 5, but if I was to fill this at the moment, it's going to fill the background, which is fine if that's what you want to happen. But alternatively, to reverse that now, we can come up to select again and select inverse. Now that I've clicked that, if I click to fill again, you can see it has selected everything within the layer. This is also really handy if you want to break sections of your drawings down. 
For example, if I now wanted to paint the skin, I could create a new layer, hold down Alt and lock the layer that I'm working on to the blue layer. And I can then draw within this and cover this area much quicker without worrying about going outside the lines. And this is especially handy if you want to create several layers, they will all lock down to that first layer. So yes, I am having to use my brush tool admittedly. You could go within this and do each one individually, but it's quite a good way to work with a brush, but without having to be too neat along the edge of the outline or the outside edge, I should say. And it can save you quite a bit of time. And then you can have things on individual layers as well. All of that sounds confusing, but it's really easy once you get used to it. So please have a play around with it. But the main thing to remember is instead of using your paint bucket tool, you can use the magic wand tool, select the area you want, select, modify, expand, expand into your line art, and then you can press control and backspace. And this will give you a much better fill than using the paint bucket. As well as that, as an artist, it does open more options up to you because there is so many things you can do in Photoshop. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave me a comment below, let me know what other tutorials you want to see next. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.